All right, what's up, my YouTube family? Here is Cornelius Jones coming to you today with another video. And as you know, we are digging deep with Defending the Faith. And currently, we are in a series dis having discussions with our atheist community. Well, if you've been watching some of the previous videos, uh, you know, we've been going at it. <laughs> and so I want to progress in this discussion. And in order to do that, what we need to do is put to bed the debate about whether or not Jesus Christ truly existed. Was Jesus Christ some fairy tale? Was he a mythical character or was he a true historical character? Well, today we are going to finally, once and for all, Put this argument to bed because I have some great, great uh, historical evidence to share with you today. OK, so that's my purpose uh, for the atheist community out there. I know there are many of you. This is not an issue for you. You you believe that Jesus Christ existed. As a matter of fact, there are top atheists out there that would cons that would agree that Jesus Christ was an actual person. OK. I, if you're especially if you are in a historian, if you are a true historian, whether you're Christian or not, Christian or secular, believer or non-believer, you know that Jesus Christ existed. Well, we're going to go into some very specific historical evidence for that today. Now, before we get into this, here's what I want you to do. I need you to walk with me. If you are an atheist out there, I titled this very carefully. I titled it what I titled it for a reason. OK, I believe it is completely hypocritical to deny that Jesus Christ was an actual figure, an actual historical person that existed, that walked the earth. Now, let me make this clear. We're not talking about did he raise from the dead? OK, that's fine. We can debate that later. OK, we're not even we're not talking about did Jesus Christ turn water into wine? Did he walk on water? Did he heal the sick? Did he raise the dead? We're not talking about did Jesus Christ do miracles? OK, we can save that for later. OK, forget all that. Forget miracles. Forget Jesus Christ raising from the dead. Forget the claims that Jesus Christ is God. OK, forget all of that. Throw all of that out the window. We're not there yet. Right now, I'm just trying to establish, is Jesus Christ a real person or was he just a mythical, fictional character? OK, Jesus was a real person. He was not just a fictional character. And I'm going to show you this evidence right now. OK, now here's what I need you to do. OK, because I'm going to make a point with this later on in the video as we move forward. If you are an atheist that does that denies that Jesus existed. Or if you are an atheist that even would go as far as to say, well, I don't know, you know, I don't know if Jesus existed or not. If you're in one of those two categories, here's what I need you to do. I need you to think of one person, just one. Tell me one. Well, not tell me, but write down on a sheet of paper or th put it in your mind. Think of one historical person that you know existed in the first century. OK, that's what I need you to do. Now, this is very important here. If you need to pause the video, pause the video. I need you to think of one person that you know that you do not have a doubt. I know this person existed in the first century. Write that person down if you need to. OK, now, if you can't think of anybody, look, that's fine. Pause the video. Do some research real quick. It don't take but it don't take but two, two minutes. Google. OK. I need you to come. I need you to have in your mind one person that, you know, and you believe, OK, I know this is what is a true person that walked the earth in the first century. OK, and I'm sure that person won't be Christ, but name somebody, name somebody that, you know, existed in the first century. OK, now, hopefully you'll pause the video and do that if you need to and then come back. OK, now that's very important. Put that aside and I'm going to move forward and we're going to come back to that in just a second. Now, for the in the meantime, what I'm about to do right now is provide you two very good pieces of historical evidence for the existence of Jesus Christ. And we're talking about evidence outside of the Bible. 
We are talking about non-Christian sources. I'm not even touching the Bible, okay? You do not need the Bible to come to the conclusion that Jesus was an actual person, okay? So look, forget the Bible. We're throwing that out, all right? So let's get straight into this. There was a historian that lived in the first century and his name was Flavius Josephus. OK, most people just call him Josephus. And he wrote a piece of history. Understand Josephus was the world's greatest historian of the first century there. If you, you ask any historian, they would tell you that the, the, the most renowned, most famous historian of that day was Josephus. And Josephus was not a Christian. That's what I want to point out, okay? Josephus was not a follower of Jesus Christ. He was not a Christian. So this is not a Christian source. However, he was a historian and he did live in the first century. Now watch what he wrote. He wrote a book called Antiquities of the Jews. And in this book, Antiquities of the Jews, in book 18, chapter 3, section 3 of the book, this is what Josephus writes. And I quote from this book. This is what he writes. At this time, the time of Pilate, there was a wise man who, call, who was called Jesus. His conduct was good and he was known to be virtuous. And many people from among the Jews and other nations became his disciples. Pilate condemned him to be crucified and to die. But those who had become his disciples did not abandon his discipleship. They reported that they had appeared to, excuse me, they reported that he had appeared to them three days after his crucifixion and that he was alive. Accordingly, he was perhaps the Messiah concerning whom the prophets have recounted wonders. Now, let me pause here. Let me reiterate. This paragraph is from the book of um, uh, Antiquities of the Jews written by a historian in the first century named Josephus, and he was not a Christian. This is an independent, non-Christian source complete that has nothing to do with the Bible. Yet, he tells a storyline that is very consistent with what the New Testament says. I just think that's very interesting to point out, okay? But forget all that right now. Notice what he said. Josephus is not saying that he believes that Jesus rose from the dead. He's saying that it was reported by the eyewitnesses that he rose from the dead, okay? He is just giving a he is just giving an account of what the followers of Christ were saying okay because he says very plainly here he says accordingly he was perhaps the messiah so josephus was not convinced that jesus was the messiah he was not a christian this is a completely independent source that has nothing to do with the bible now, does that sound like Jesus Christ was a fictional character to you? OK, a first century historian. Don't you think he was in position to know whether or not Jesus was an actual person or not? Let's continue. That's just one. All right. Next piece of evidence, historical evidence. Now, there in the second century. OK, there was we have a record of a debate that was held by two men. One was a Christian, one was not a Christian. Okay? And these two men, the one man, the Christian man was Justin Martyr, and the other one was a Jew who was who was antagonistic towards Christianity. He was against Christianity. His name was Trypho. Okay? Now, in uh in this in this debate, when you look at this debate, it's in chapter 107 of this document where this debate is logged. Listen to what Trifo says. This is his accusation against Justin Martyr, the Christian. Here's what he says. Watch this. He says, 
you have sent chosen and ordained men throughout all the world to proclaim that a godless and lawless heresy has sprung from one Jesus, a Galilean deceiver whom we crucified, but his disciples stole him by the night from the tomb where he was laid and unfastened from the cross and now deceive men by asserting that he has risen from the dead and ascended to heaven. Here we have again, a, this is a second century piece of evidence, a debate between two men and the, the, the one uh, who is against Christianity. He is accusing Jesus of being a deceiver. And is accusing this man of being a deceiver by following Christ's teachings and telling other and, and have and sending men out to teach this stuff. That's what he's saying. But notice, notice the the details that he names are consistent with scripture. That Jesus was from Galilee, that he was crucified on a cross. <laughs> you see where I'm going here? Okay. I get really hype about this stuff. I've got, got to try to calm down a little bit, okay? It is absurd to say that Jesus Christ was not an actual figure. Here we have two non-Christian sources, and these two sources have nothing to do with each other. These are totally independent sources that confirm that Jesus was an actual person. But what's interesting is that with the things they are saying, one is just a skeptic. One is a, is a the, uh, the, the Josephus. He was just apparently a skeptic. But this person that I read, he was not only a skeptic, he was a full blown enemy of Christ. OK, but they both confirmed that he was an actual person and they both include details that are consistent with what the New Testament says. The New Testament and the book of Matthew says that the Jews came up with a story that about Jesus body being stolen from the tomb. That's what it says in the book of Matthew. It says here that Jesus was from Galilee. It also says that he was crucified. OK, so. <laughs> again. We're not even going there. We're not even going there. Was he crucified or not? I mean, excuse me. What did he raise from the dead or not? We're not even going there. But you cannot deny that he was an actual person. You cannot deny that Jesus was crucified on a cross. That is confirmed, documented history. OK, now I just gave you two sources and told you exactly where I got these sources from. Now, it's up to you to check these sources, research these things on your own. But the question is, based on those two sources alone, is that enough for you? Is that enough historical evidence for you to agree that, yes, Jesus was an actual person? You're not you don't get writings like this that like I'm reading to you for a person that is fictional. Josephus, the historian from the first century, that's what he did. That's what he was known for. He was known for writing history. Don't you think he, he was in a good position to know whether the people he wrote about who lived in the same century that he lived in was whether, whether if there was an actual person or not? Do you think there's any way that he was confused about whether Jesus was an actual person? You see, the debate about whether or not Christ ex existed didn't ex that this whole debate didn't exist in the first and second century. OK, there was no debate about whether or not Jesus was an actual person back then. We have that debate now, but it wasn't back then. I, I would trust the people who lived closer to that time, even enemies of Jesus Christ, like I just read to you, even they attested of his existence. Now, what do you have to say about that? What do you have to say about that? Don't you see that Christ was an actual person? OK, now let's go back now. OK, because I titled this video the hypocrisy of atheists who deny the existence of Christ. 
Why would I say such a thing? Why would I think it's hypocritical? Here's why. Remember the question I asked you? I asked you to name a person that you know existed in the first century. Okay, who is your person? Who is your person? Well, here's my person. I named someone other than Jesus Christ that I knew existed in the first century. Okay, and for me, that person was Tiberius Caesar. Okay, Tiberius Caesar was the Roman uh, emperor in the first, in the early part of the first century. That's who he was. He was the Roman emperor. Okay. Now here's what's interesting about that. Why is that important? Whatever person you named, my question to you is how do you know that person existed? Especially if you had to Google something to find something out real quick. Okay. How many sources did you go through to come to the conclusion that whoever you thought of is an actual historical figure? I'm willing to bet you didn't you didn't have to you didn't search real hard. You probably went to one at most maybe two sources. Okay? I'm sure you I'm sure whatever you read, whatever article you read or whatever book you read, you took it at face value. Why do you take that at face value and not take at face value the things that are written about Christ? And again, we're not even talking about the Bible right now. I know you beef with the Bible. Throw the Bible out. I'm not talking about the Bible. Forget the Bible. Let's look at these non-Christian sources. Why don't you believe that? Why is it really? Could all these people be lying? <laughs> Come on. That it's hypocritical for you to believe all these that all these other historical figures existed, but then have a different standard for historical evidence when it comes to Christ. What's the difference? Christ is no different of a historical figure than anybody else that lived during that time. So that's why it's hypocritical. OK, now here's an interesting thing that I discovered when it comes to the person I thought of Tiberius Caesar. OK. We're talking about non-Christian sources, okay? Known today, there's about nine sources, nine independent sources that cite Tiberius Caesar within, let's say, you know, like 150 years of his life, okay? There are about nine. Now, let's compare that to Christ. Do you know how many non christian we're not even talking about the Bible. Do you know how many non-Christian sources there are? that cite Jesus Christ within the first two centuries, let's say about 150 years of Christ's death. Do you know how many, how many citations there are from non-Christian sources? There are 10, one more than the Roman emperor. <laughs> so here's my point. Whatever person you named, can you find 10 independent sources for that person? I'm sure you can. Now, maybe you can. I don't know. But most likely, I'm willing to bet that that that's not out. It doesn't exist. The question is, why do you have such a unreasonable standard for evidence for Christ that you don't have for any other historical figure? That's why I call for anybody who denies the existence of Jesus. I call you hypocritical because you don't have that same standard for any other historical figure. OK, here's a prime example. Alexander the Great. You know who Alexander the Great is if you follow history. OK, but did you know that the earliest source or citations of Alexander the Great came after only after 500 years of his death? That's the earliest thing we can get our hands on. 500 years after his death. But you want to talk about the New Testament and say that because the New Testament was written, you know, 40 to 50 years later, you know, that it's not accurate and all that kind of stuff. Or well, it was really not 40 to 50 years, really more like 25, really. Let's just take a high number. Let's say it's 100. <laughs> that still does not come anywhere close to Alexander the Great's 500 years, but you, you believe the things that are written about Alexander the Great with no problem, okay? But the standard for Jesus Christ, it, he act, the, the historical evidence for Christ crushes the historical evidence for any other person. But that's not good enough for you. That's 
hypocrisy to me. Jesus Christ is a historical figure whose life is well documented, not just by Christians, not just by the Bible, by non-Christian sources. So why do you have such a different standard? Why are you so hypocritical when it comes to what you consider good enough evidence to know that someone actually walked the earth? I'll tell you why. It's because of your bias. Your bias, that's the only reason. That's the only way. You know, deep down inside, that if Jesus did, if he did exist, which he did, then you would have to entertain possibly were the eyewitnesses telling the truth about the miracles? Were they possibly telling the truth about him raising from the dead? And you don't want to deal with that. So it's it's more convenient for you to just say, eh, he was a fairy tale. Eh, he was just a myth. No, he was not. A myth, a legend does not develop in the very same decade that the person was living. That's the same time Josephus lived. A myth does not or legend does not develop in the first century of the person. It takes centuries and centuries for legends and stuff to develop. Your bias is causing you to be hypocritical when it comes to historicity, historicity of a historical figure. OK, so I don't want this to be a long video because, again, we're not talking about miracles, raising from the dead, none of that. All I'm looking for is for a reasonable atheist to say, OK, you know what? Yes, Jesus Christ did exist. And if you're with me, can you please just put that in the comments for me, please? That doesn't mean you can see that there's God. That doesn't mean that you can see that he rose again from the dead. That doesn't mean that you can see that he did miracles. I'm just saying, can you at least be reasonable based on this, these two key pieces of evidence that I read? And there's more. Remember, I said there are 10. There are 10 independent non-Christian sources. But I don't want this video to be an hour, okay? So I just, came, I just read two. Is that enough for you to concede? Yes. Jesus was a historical figure. Once you can admit that, then we can move forward in this debate. Now we can say, OK, let's, if Jesus was a real person, then let's find out as much information about this Jesus as possible. Because if the sayings that the followers of Jesus Christ said are true, then the implications are huge. They're huge. But we haven't gotten that far yet. Were the eyewitnesses about who lived with Christ, who walked with Christ, were they telling the truth? Well, we can investigate that now. We can investigate that. We can look at that. Don't be afraid to investigate it. It's either true or it's false. But many of you atheists out there who want to say that, you know, that Jesus is a fairy tale, and we want to accuse people of circular reasoning, saying the Bible is true because it says it's true. That's not what I'm doing. Many of you haven't even read the Bible. How can you know if it's true or not if you haven't even read it? Now, many of you have, but some of you haven't even read it. Let's agree that Jesus was a historical figure. And then in the upcoming videos, I'm going to investigate it. Let's look at what scripture says and let's investigate these claims and weigh it against the backdrop of history. Weigh it against the backdrop of, archae um, of other archaeological evidence and, and things of that nature. Okay? So, I, I believe there is no possible way that you could deny that Jesus existed. I'm sure some of you will. But for those few of you, if you're with me, just let me know. Hey, okay, okay, bro, Jesus existed. So what? He, that don't mean he rose again from the dead. I'll accept that. I can work with that. OK, so put that in the comments, please, if you agree that Jesus Christ rose again from the dead. And I will come on later when the, in the next series of videos, we are going to be investigating the claims of the eyewitness writers of Jesus Christ. 
This is Cornelius Jones signing off. I love you in the Lord. Let's have a discussion. Be blessed.